hey, welcome back to the shop. And if you're new and you like, uh, you like metal fabrication, woodworking, and everything in between, uh, those are the kinds of things that I'll be doing on this channel. Uh, there's a lot of cool one day projects coming up in the pipeline uh, that I think you'll enjoy. So I hope you come back for those. <laughs> Today we're gonna be uh, porting this uh, 1FC uh, cylinder head. And if, uh, if you got a different motor, uh, that's okay because pretty much everything I'm going to be doing here today will apply to all engines. Uh, you know, because you're basically just trying to increase the flow uh, going into the cylinder. So that's, it's the same principle to all motors. Uh, like some of them you just got a single valve, some of them you got dual like this engine. It's got four valves per cylinder, so, you know, that's really the only difference. Part of a multi-part uh, series uh, that I'm going to be doing along with the shorter builds. Uh, so I'll uh, most likely have like two or three like long running projects that I'll be doing at all times, just kind of the way I work. And then doing like quick one day builds uh, uh, kind of in between. Hang with me on this uh, video stuff, it's still kind of new to me, uh, but I want to get really good at it. So the videos should get better and better as I go, because I know they're being a little slow. Uh, so I'm going to try to shorten them up a little bit. Uh, I've been doing one video per week. I'd like to do uh, two videos per week. <laughs> so just to give you a quick overview. This is cylinder head. If you've been watching the later episodes, you'll uh, notice this. It's a lot cleaner now. It's not completely cleaned up, but it's getting close. So here's some of the equipment that I'll be using today. And if there's more that I end up using, I'll, I'll show you at the end. But I've got a mask because this stuff goes flying everywhere. Safety glasses, uh, headlamp, because uh, I feel like looking down into the ports as you're working, it's kind of good to be able to see everything you can. Uh, I got these two die grinders, uh, the straight and the 90. I got my aluminum cutters here, and I got the other one in the pool already. But yes, yeah, so there's all different shapes to this. Yeah, so then I'll transition over to these Tootsie Rolls. Just the name. I don't know what they're actually called. What they call them. So I got a few different sizes there. And then I got this little flapper, you know, for kind of smoothing out towards the end. Okay, so I'll try to link any of these uh, like tools in the description below, as many of them as I can. And if there's uh, something better, I'll link it also. Hope you get that. I'm gonna mark all these uh, with blue die cam, uh, like machinist marking ink. And then like scribe around here, which I'll show you here shortly. And that's going to give me my perimeter of, of like where to cut to. Yeah, so as you can see, this stuff's pretty messy. Uh, you just want to kind of keep it to a minimum. Because it makes a big mess. Uh, if you don't have die cam though, blue sharpie works pretty good. Uh, so you just kind of draw on that face right there, and it basically works the same as this. It's just uh, like not quite as durable. Uh, so I forgot to mention uh, the scribes that you're going to need. Uh, so I've got this set to about like three millimeter right here on this. Uh, you could use this uh, directly. If you don't have a scribe, you can just use calipers to do this. But you're basically going to be making a perimeter around the port. It's gonna be your line that you're gonna go to. You see, you might change it in different areas of the port. And I think with this, I'm just gonna run that line all the way around. I'm going quite a bit larger, as you can see, over stock. It's as far as I'm comfortable with pushing that. Because if you go too far, you get into the water jackets and you want to stay away from, from those. They lead to the whole world of trouble. You just kind of follow that perimeter around. And that becomes your guide. So that's where you're going to run to. 
don't believe it fits out of focus. I have to get really close. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all, all six over here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show you this uh, first bit and then uh, switch over to time lapse. It's gonna get super noisy. One cylinder done. I'll, I'll give you a look at it. It's pretty close at least. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take it much further. So that's inside the exhaust. Let me see it. So that was the original. That's what we got there. Even from the top. Stuff. It's substantially larger. And we came all the way out to that line. Quite a bit larger. I'm happy with it. It's definitely pushing my luck with the how much I took out. I was actually getting a little worried about hitting those water jackets, but looks like we're good to go to that size on all six of them now. So I'm just going to show you this one tonight because I'm actually going to have 
uh, break this down into a few nights of the work. So yeah, I'll get some photos and I'll, I'll just add them in here. watching.